Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Alan, and today's topic is going to be on the history of St. Bonaventure, where it was, and how it's evolved over time to academic and ath athletic excellence now. So before we get into the school's history, I'm going to take you on a little journey. So let's get started. Picture this. It's the early 1200s, and there's an infant child who's got a disease. All the doctors don't really know what's wrong with him. No one can figure it out, and the child's life is certain death. His mother decides to take him to go see a man named St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis was a very religious man at the time, and being a saint is very hard. Not very few people have even obtained this level. After the prayers of St. Francis, this child's disease went away. After seeing this, his mother astounded committed her son to the Franciscan church. And this was just one small step, the first step for this child. This child then became a cardinal bishop and is now known as Saint Bonaventure. Much like how his beginnings began with the first small step, our school's first beginnings was a small step. We came here to spread the traditions and the beliefs of the Franciscan church. It wasn't until 1874 that our school got recognition by the state of New York of becoming a university. Once that happened, our sports bloomed, blossomed. Football and baseball were the main sports. It wasn't until 1911 that our school started academic excellence and offering master's programs, including journalism. All of these are just pivotal moments in the evolution of our school. I'd like to add in, 1911 was when our, a, our newspaper began, as well as the construction of our library. Now, I bring you guys to the late 1960s, early 1970s, which, in my opinion, is the most pivotal change our university has ever made. It started out with John F. Kennedy. He, began, he came to our university, and he gave us recognition across the United States which led to a lot of young men joining our basketball team. And in the, in the 1970s, we made the Final Four. It was the very beginning of our, of our athletic excellence, and it showed that in no matter what sport, St. Bonaventure can be number one. It shows then our academic excellence, that no matter what major or masters or undergrad that you would like, our school offers it into our, our best moments excellent degree. And I realized this because we have someone named Adrian Wojnarowski, who's a 1991 graduate, and he shows that the impact he's made on a global level just from coming to our university is tremendous. And it's people like him, people who have walked before us the halls, that we truly have to thank. And it's those who will walk after us that we have to truly make a difference for. So as we reflect on our storied past, we're reminded of remarkable individuals. We're reminded of the remarkable changes that were made. And it reminds us that a journey of St. Bonaventure is marked through faith, through resilience, and unwavering commitment to excellence, both academic and athletic. That being said, thank you guys for watching and See you guys next time.